It's a short video here to say Pentecost coming up here May 28th is uh, the way I would uh, calculate it here, um, especially in regard to the um, way that the Jewish counted Passover and uh, Easter or Resurrection Sunday coming on April 9th. We remember here that Passover started April 5th. By the way, the uh, Jewish calendar calculated it. And then we had the Resurrection Sunday on April 9th. So Good Friday, April 7th. That came right within Passover week. And then Resurrection Sunday, April 9th. And as we look at that, we look at the scripture, we see this. Leviticus 23, 15 is about Passover. From the day after the Sabbath, the day you brought the sheaf of the wave offering. Count all seven full weeks. And that is the day after the Sabbath there within Passover week. As I understand it, they brought the sheaf of the wave offering, that wave offering symbolically representing the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. From that day, count off seven full weeks. So if we count Resurrection Sunday as day one, then we would come to the 50th day on May 28th. And then we did already uh, note that that 50th day, there's another wave offering. This is uh, two loaves. Two loaves. Another wave offering of two loaves on that 50th day after Resurrection Sunday comes another wave offering of two loaves. Those two loaves possibly representing the dead in Christ rising first, then we which are alive and remain to be caught up together, possibly. Possibly representing the Jew and the Gentiles that believe. Possibly the two loaves made with least. The sinners, the harvest of sinners, because this is a wheat harvest and it's a, a baked with yeast. So this was no yeast for Passover week, representing the resurrection of Jesus. This is two loaves baked with yeast and they're also a wave offering. So we're considering the possibility that this is a, a little clue in Scripture, possibly, that the resurrection could happen, could be planned for that 50th day after Resurrection Sunday, that 50th day after the wave offering in Passover week. In my calculations, I know the Jews had Shavuot on May 26th, 27th, uh, I don't really understand how they came up with that as the day based on this scripture because it looks to me like May 28th would be the proper day. So we're looking forward to seeing what God is planning to do. And only God knows the day and the hour. It could be any day. The scriptures make it clear. The Son of Man cometh in a time you think not. And he said, watch for you don't know the day. And I like to say this, I can't say for sure it is today, and you can't say for sure it's not today, it might be today. That's why we're watching today. Today, we're watching May 27th, we're watching May 28th, and if we're still here after May 28th, we'll watch May 29th, and if we're still on May 29th, we'll watch May 30th, and while we're watching, Jesus said, occupy till I come. And dear friends, as long as we're still here, don't get discouraged, get excited. Every day we're getting closer. Every day we're, didn't, we're, did, we're getting closer. And every day that God gives you to have an opportunity to be a light to lost people, count it as a precious opportunity and a jewel. And yes, at the same time, we're hoping for rapture. We need to prepare to suffer because we're on the brink right now. We're on the brink. Yes, it's a sad time in one way for America and the world because it's very obvious that suffering is coming to the world so dear friends 
Remember this. Jesus is coming soon. Acts chapter 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, and out of every nation under heaven. That is, the Holy Spirit came as God's provision. And Pentecost is a celebration of God's provision. The celebration of God's provision of the wheat in Leviticus 23. The celebration of the harvest of sinners that represent the wheat harvest. Sinners that are made with yeast, that is, they're coming to Christ, celebrating the provision of the Holy Spirit to the church to proclaim the gospel to the world. And we're going to have that celebration tomorrow. We're going to celebrate Jesus. We're going to celebrate the Holy Spirit that has come to us to walk with us, give us joy, give us peace, give us power to proclaim the good news of the cross and the resurrection of Jesus. Dear friends, celebrate this tomorrow. If you're a believer in Christ, you've trusted Christ, celebrate this. The Holy Spirit has come. This is a promise to you and to your children and to all that are far off, Peter said in Acts chapter 2. So celebrate, dear friends, and rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice because we have reason to uh rejoice and uh this brother steve had shared this uh clip here uh, i thought it was interesting daniel being uh, in strong's 1840 and daniel specifically had uh, given this message that he said behold i will make you know what shall be in the last end of the indignation for at the time appointed the end shall be and this word for appointed time in Strong's appointed time being 2165 and Daniel being 1840 and we add those two things up and we get 4005 and F Pentecost is in Strong's is 4005 so that could be an interesting thing to consider about Pentecost and as we're coming to this Pentecost Tomorrow, on May 28th, and I know there's some other calculations for June 2nd, and I don't really understand all those. Maybe if the, the Jews had Passover calculated wrong, but I'm looking right now um, at uh, many things that I think are pointing to May 28th. And uh, just to say, only God knows the day and the hour of our glorious meeting the Savior in the sky. Only God knows that day. The scriptures make it clear the Son of Man comes at a time when you think not. Watch for you don't know the day. I like to say I don't can't say for sure it is today. You can't say for sure it's not today. Only God knows for sure. But I know this. God wants you and me to be faithful to his mission. And we are getting closer. Very close. Very close to the time we're going to get to see Jesus. And that's exciting. Whether it's tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. We are getting closer. And he's given us this short time right now to be a light to lost people. So, dear friends, let your light shine. Let your light shine. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way. To prepare us a dwelling place there In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore We shall sing on that beautiful shore the melodious song of the blessed and our spirit shall sorrow no more not a sigh for the blessing of rest in the sweet 
by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore we shall sing on that beautiful shore the melodious song of the blessed and our spirit shall sorrow no more not a sigh for the blessing of rest in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore to our bountiful father above we will offer our tribute of praise for the glorious gift of his love and the blessings that hallow our days in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore and father we do come before you humbly lord and we do want to pray for all the brothers and sisters, Lord, that the Holy Spirit has uh, entered their lives, has raised their dead spirit to a new life. Father, we pray your, your spirit stir in their hearts even now, Lord. Even now. And Lord, uh, set them apart for your purpose and your glory, Lord. And, and we pray, God, you use them to restrain the evil that's in the world, Lord. Use them, Lord, because we're here for you and your glory, Lord. Part of your kingdom, Lord, not for us. Lord, our lives used to be all about us. Self-centered, proud. Without hope, without a relationship with you. But Lord, now we want to live for you. So, Lord, we pray the Holy Spirit move mightily in each person's life. Cause them to hear your voice. Cause them to know, Lord, what you've called them to do. And use them to restrain the evil, Lord. For, Lord, we see the darkness is descending. People's minds are twisted. Plotting and scheming of evil in the world. Father, bless your people in high places and in low places, Lord. Give them a sound mind, Lord. For, Lord, you haven't given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us a spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. And, Father, we pray you, even as the Holy Spirit came while people were gathered together from all nations as a sign and symbol that you wanted to empower the church to preach the gospel to the world because that's the way that they can be saved. There's no other way. There's no other name given under heaven where, among men whereby we must be saved. So, Lord, let the Holy Spirit move mightily as we're celebrating the uh, provision. And we know the Holy Spirit come to convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment, to show them the righteousness of God, the judgment that is coming. Lord, let the fear of God spread across this land and across, across the world that people know they're sinners and need to be saved. So they'll value the cross and value the blood of Christ. So, Lord, empower your people, Lord. Empower your people today, Lord. And Father, if you're willing to blow that trumpet tomorrow, Lord, we're willing to go home. We want to see you. We want to see Jesus face to face. So Father, we ask you these things in Jesus' name. And we do pray especially, Lord, for Israel at this time, especially for those that are there, that are not ready. We pray, Father, you bless the Christian ministries there, those sharing the good news with the Jewish people. And we pray your protection, Father, for Israel, as enemies may be planning, preparing to shoot missiles at them. And we thank you, Lord, for your protection. And we know your word's going to unfold, Lord. So we do lift up Israel to you, Lord, at this time. In Jesus' name, amen.